Hi everyone. Today I want to show you about the built environment and issues. And uh, we're focusing on the, how the global innovation support to create and build the environment from the past and the future. Our built environment is con uh, designed in, as a result of the series of the global innovations. Today I want to show the two aspects to overview our built environment. One is the decentralized and the centralized. This is from the x-axis. The y-axis is about dependent and independent. This uh, diagram supports you to understand more about our built environment, how, how it should be designed. In the past, in the rural area, the built environment is, is designed like this. Very distributed and very small houses is located uh, part by part and uh, our daily life is managed by themselves. And little by little, cities grow, and the urban areas, we develop some of the city infrastructures like lighting systems, transportation systems, and the building uh, rates uh, get more higher, and uh, we can uh, enjoy every activities in the town. With this diagram, we can show the two uh, pictures located here and uh, every city is uh, getting more centralized and uh, our daily life is depending on that uh, infrastructure. Uh, I will show you the one example about the transportation. We can enjoy and commute uh, and the transport uh, between the two uh, areas by public systems like uh, metros, public buses, and the taxis. And uh, this is a uh, consist of the <clears throat> our activities uh, getting more uh, uh, freely. And more, uh, we can of course use the the personal transportation uh, unit equipments like uh, bicycles, pri private cars, and uh, we can uh, enjoy the moving around the cities by ourselves. With this diagram, of course, uh, we can uh, show like this. Uh, Public services uh, is centralized, and we are up, our daily life is depending on that. And uh, together with that, uh, bicycle and private cars uh, supported our independent lifestyles with moving around. The another example is the heating systems. In the past, uh, the fire spot in the house is like this, and the source of the fire is the wooden pieces. Of course, the wooden pieces are collecting from the surroundings and by themselves. And a little by little, this system, heating system, is developed like this. Now, uh, the heating system like this. This is example from the Finland, and the radiation panels is located under the windows. The heat is uh, supplied from that panels. And this diagram uh, show that the heating system with the panels is uh, based on the centralized heating systems and uh, we depend on that heating uh, system. Then we can keep our daily life uh, safely and healthy. And more, I want to show one picture like this. Um, this picture shows uh, some chimneys in the city areas. And under the, uh, these chimneys uh, is the location of the power supply, power plant, or the heat plants. Beside the chimneys, we, you can show the, the heat supply uh, plant, and under the ground, the pipe is uh, deliver the heat near the, your uh, living space. The question is the why they innovated this way of the heat supply, especially the case of the Nordic countries. So the, the clues and the hint is uh, we can find from the uh, past house, I mean the folk houses. This is a kitchen system in the folk house and the one lady cooking some food at the stove. And with the thermal cameras, uh, you can see the, the, where the heat is located. Of course, the he, uh, heat stove uh, radiated the heat, and the chimney, part of the chimney radiated the heat from the surface. The back side of the kitchen system, that you can see the, the place of the living room. And the, near the sofa, uh, they sit on, that, on there. And the back side of the surface is uh, heated by the, uh, the chimney systems as a radiative heat. 
So that's why they choose the heat by radiations. Of course, the cold climate regions, they need to keep the heat uh, uh, slickly and uh, minimize the heat, heat losses from the windows. Then the currently, this is, this is a tip, very typical houses, apartment houses of the Finland, and you can see the radiators under the windows. So I want to show one uh, discussion point, at, like radiation panels, why they innovated this type of the openings, I mean the windows. Please think uh, why they uh, choose this type of the windows. Why, what is the difference point compared with the, your windows? Why I show this diagram? This is because in the past, the rural areas is uh, lifestyle independent and the power system, the, some uh, way of the living is the de decentralized. And little by little, the urban areas is centralized and the, our lifestyle is depending on that systems. But nowadays, of course, we have a lot of the uh, difficulties like energy crisis, pandemics, and the national disasters. And suddenly, such kind of infrastructure is destroyed or stopped. Then uh, we need to think how to manage our daily life without such kind of the infrastructures. And more nowadays, uh, we need to consider the water sustainability of the uh, cities or our living space and the resiliency of the built environment how we can keep and manage under the unexpected situations. So global innovations not directed back to the rural areas or the back, directed back to the, the past situations. We need to think how we should shift the, our daily life by global innovations and how. This is the point of this course. And uh, let's discuss with another uh, lectures. Thank you.